I'm in the southbound lanes of the 14 freeway at the uh, Agui Dosi Canyon Road off ramp, and this is where traffic is being diverted off of the freeway. You can see folks now moving off of the freeway. They're being forced off of the freeway. This is where it's shut down uh, from Agui Dosi all the way into the Santa Clarita Valley, and obviously, uh, the shut down because of what's happening in the Santa Clarita Valley right now, which just absolutely breaks your heart. Leslie and Philip, I've been listening to you folks talking about uh, uh, homes lost and and. Uh, you know, our hearts and prayers are just with those folks in that in that area as this fire continues to rage out of control. And again, traffic here being diverted off of the freeway. My photographer and I, James, were stuck uh, in the traffic, which is just about a mile uh, just up the road for, from us. That's where all of the lanes are open, but it is just bogged down. We were stuck in that traffic for more than two hours, very frustrated uh, with a lot of other frustrated folks uh, on the highway. Uh, a lot of those folks on the highway obviously not realizing that they were going to be diverted off of the freeway and having to uh, get off here at the uh, Algodosi off-ramp. A lot of them getting off here. They're having to spin right back around, get into the northbound lanes, and probably go back home. So earlier we were talking to you folks, and we were telling you, probably a good idea if you live in the Antelope Valley and you need to commute, this is not the day to do it. If you've got a job in L.A., close to L.A., you're probably going to get to play hooky today. You need to call your, your office and let them know you probably can't make it because there are not too many alternate routes you can take to even get around this mess. It is just the traffic is dense everywhere. And as Santa Clarita burns, it's out of abundance of caution that authorities have shut this freeway down to make sure that they protect you and that they allow the firefighters to do the incredible job that they are doing to save those communities that are still threatened uh, by this fire. I was in the thick of that firefight yesterday, obviously covering it, had my mic in hand, watching those firefighters toe-to-toe -to -toe with walls of flames coming towards communities. We were in a cul-de-sac in Canyon Country, and we saw folks standing out on the street, some of them with their water hoses, some of them just praying that their homes would be protected, and set some time, and in some cases, the fire came all the way down into people's backyards. We saw palm trees just explode into flames, and we saw firefighters standing right there battling those flames, preventing those flames from attacking those homes and destroying those homes. But again, this firefight, as you, uh, Leslie and Philip, have mentioned, it continues only 5% contained. I was really hoping that when I went to bed last night after covering the fire for hours, that I'd wake up this morning and hear the good news that the chunk of the firefight is over, but that's not the case. And obviously, that's probably because of the swirling erratic winds. Yesterday, it was a ferocious winds. Uh, today, the winds are kicking around, swirling around. So it's just a devil of a firefight that continues. And you folks in the Antelope Valley who are frustrated, you can't get on the freeway get, get to get where you need to be. Please understand that these firefighters are doing what they can to protect the Santa Clarita Valley. And out of an abundance of caution and safety, have to shut that freeway down, folks, and, and uh, you just got to pause for a minute and, uh, you know, think beyond the frustration like we had to do this morning, sitting in our news truck for over two hours trying to get through the maze of traffic just to get where we are right now, uh, where it's, it's uh, you can just see it's, it's shut down, and this is where folks are getting off the freeway. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.